gonna jump right to it. Today should have been wash day. My scalp is itching me like crazy. <laughs> so fun. Didn't have time to wash. I've gotta get going. So I'm gonna show you what I do to relieve that itching just to get me through to the next wash day. Keep watching. And really quick, hello. <laughs> Welcome back. And if it's your first time here, hey, I'm Janelle, all things curly and then some, and I'm so glad to have you here today. Really quick before we get started, if you haven't already, go slam that subscribe button, hit that bell while you're at it. I don't want you to miss a thing. All right, let's get going. What is needed? Water bottle that has an adjustable sprayer so that you can get a steady stream versus a spray and apple cider vinegar, preferably with mother in. We're gonna put the apple cider vinegar inside the water bottle. Make sure to shake it up. No need to measure, just eyeball. If you wanna measure, do you. Okay, so you can see a decent amount. Next, fill this with warm water. Warm water. So we're filled all the way with warm water. Now what you wanna do is you wanna adjust the nozzle <laughs> so that it is spraying a steady stream. Don't wanna spray, you wanna stream. I'm getting it all over my mirror. See that? Steady stream. So this part's easy. Go in at your scalp, spray directly on your scalp, anywhere the edges. You might wanna spray and then massage it in, otherwise you're gonna get it on your cheek like I just did. So apple cider vinegar has antiseptic properties, which ultimately will kill fungus and bacteria on the scalp, which also helps prevent the infections. You ever get those little bumps that feel like you got a zit on your head? Yep, clogged follicles. And it also gets rid of buildup left over on the scalp. It's one of the reasons why apple cider vinegar rinses is so popular. Those antiseptic properties also help fight inflammation. And apple cider vinegar also has hydroxyl acids. And these acids help exfoliate the scalp, which means that the benefiting nutrients are more likely to get into the follicle. Exfoliating the scalp is just as important as exfoliating any other area of your body because doing so prevents clogged pores and clogged pores on your scalp does lead to flakes and itchy scalp. Don't be afraid of the smell. In my experience with apple cider vinegar, once it dries, the smell dissipates. Although if you do re-wet um, your scalp, the smell can come back. But I think if you focus on your scalp, keep it away from your hair as much as possible, it's not really a problem. But if you're still extra worried, just use less apple cider vinegar in your mixture. So now we will just continue to massage it and make sure you are always using your fingertips, never your fingernails. One of the side effects <laughs> that I love is that every time I do this treatment, I always end up with really good volume. Oh, already feeling better. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to spray my hair a little bit, get the ends, because I am going to diffuse just a bit to get my roots. Um, going so I want to take this opportunity to add a little bit of moisture to my hair just a bit This is also a good time if you have individual strands that you want to correct to go for them I don't really need a refresh as much as I need a little bit of moisture And remember if you have frizz just take your fingertips and push it back in I am now 
going to diffuse. It should only take a few minutes because I barely got my hair wet. I just want to make sure I leave the house with dry roots. Um, I am going to flip upside down so that I have ultimate volume. High speed, cool air. So that's it. <laughs> this will typically get my scalp at least another day or two. Um, sometimes even more, just kind of depends. Every person's gonna be different, but if nothing else, this should get you at least 24 hours, at least. So it's also optional at this point. If you'd like, you can go in with a scalp oil and massage that in as well. Um, up to you. So you can do this at any point in your <laughs> wash day cycle. I've done it day two, I've done it day five, I've done it day seven. Play with it, whatever works for you. It definitely um, will give quite a bit of relief. I do this when I don't have time for wash day. I do this when I put something that's not agreeing with my scalp and I need to correct it fast. I do this after the gym. If I've had a really sweaty gym day, this is amazing to make sure that your scalp does not get built up, feel nasty, and does not itch. Because remember, it is also killing a lot of that bacteria. Not that complicated, is it? <laughs> So there you have it, apple cider vinegar to correct itchy scalp when you don't got time for that. <laughs> I am Janelle, thank you so much for joining me. And to those of you that were new here, thanks for coming on. And if you have not already slammed that subscribe button, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Go slam the subscribe button, hit that bell while you're at it. I don't want you to miss a thing. And I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>